Hello everyone, my name is Mary and welcome to a Neverland haul. I haven't done a haul in a while because I haven't actually bought anything but spring and summer is approaching and I'm still constantly wanting to upgrade my closet. I picked up a few closet essential pieces that I think you will enjoy and I will link all of them in the description so you can go ahead and check them out. I'll also leave my measurements so that might be helpful for you when you're shopping. The first item is this gray and white stripe boxy tailored button up. I do recommend tucking in the shirt like a French tuck or a full tuck. And this is a half French tuck and basically this will accentuate your waist and make you look, you know, it will show off your waist at least. And then if you wanted to do a full front tuck, you can just push this in. By the way, these jeans are the Everlane High Rise Black Denim Jeans. This is what it looks like. In terms of fit, it's definitely very snug. It really hugs onto your butt. But in terms of comfort, I would say it's like a 5 out of 10. It's not the most comfortable piece of garment you're probably going to wear. Next collar shirt is the standard white relaxed button up. I do have one from Target that I wear all the time. It's much thinner than this one though. Quality on this shirt is so much better than one from Target that I have. To enhance this outfit, I like to throw on like a hoodie over my shoulder in case it does get cold at night or during the day or whatever. And it just kind of like acts as a little blanket and adds more color and texture to the outfit as well. I'm giving off soccer mom vibes. The fabric is very thick. It's not that see-through and on a hot day, this would definitely heat up. It's very, very well made and it looks really good. Out of everything I got in this haul, this is my favorite item and if you're gonna get anything, definitely invest in a white button-up because it's so easy to wear with literally everything I'm telling you in all seasons like it's just a staple piece for all seasons and yeah I really like it Let's see. all right this next shirt is this drapey slate gray button-up it's very very cooling on the skin it's almost like a satin material almost it's just so freaking Beautiful. If you know me, you know I love this color so much. Slate gray takes up my entire closet. I have literally so much slate gray in my closet, but I don't have a button up. This shirt is so comfortable, it's so relaxed, and it just flows so nicely on your body. I really like the feel of this shirt. It almost feels like pajamas because of how soft it is on my skin. This would be a really good shirt to just keep you cool, nice and cool. It's also very conservative especially if you don't want to show off your arms or you know your shoulders or whatever it's very very conservative and i think in my opinion it goes really well with a lot of items so i like this one a lot this is what it looks like untucked it's just like very drapey i highly recommend tucking it in and it will instantly elevate your look I picked up this shirt jacket. It's called the shirt jacket. It looks almost blue in camera, but okay, it's kind of blue, but it's also kind of gray, depending on where you look at it. And these have become pretty popular these past like year or so. They have they have real pockets, which I'm always so disappointed whenever it's not a real pocket. <laughs> like the style of the shirt jackets, but in my personal opinion, I don't really think it flatters the petite frame that much because it kind of just swallows you up and it gives you really broad shoulders. Like, I don't know if I'm the only person who deals with this issue, but the length of the jacket just hits a very awkward length where your legs are just kind of like cut off. I do personally think this jacket is so nice and the quality is amazing. I kind of wasn't feeling my hair, so I'm going to leave it down for the rest of this video. I also picked up another jacket and this is a black 
trench coat. I have been on a mission to find a trench coat that fits me for many, many, many months. And this one's the quality is really, really good. Um, it's not like sheen or whatever where it's like super paper thin. This is actually very heavy and thick, but also kind of lightweight at the same time where you can kind of get away with it in the spring. But I'll just show you what it looks like if the sleeves were shorter and if I were to get this altered or just keep them rolled up because I'm lazy and I probably won't get them altered. But so they're rolled up and cute. The last item I picked up is the leather mini tote bag. And this is such an adorable size. I just can't get over how cute this thing is. And it's made of complete leather. And this is the strap. It's pretty thick, so there is some weight to the bag itself, but it's very cute. <laughs> On the inside, you do have a little buckle here that you can clip together the bag. And yeah, it's just a very cute bag. I needed a staple black bag just to use on the weekends whenever I go out. And this one was just adorable. It's just stinking adorable. It has like a nice little detail right here that makes it kind of different. It's a front pouch. And overall, this bag is very well made. And I just hope it does last a while because it was rather expensive. And yeah. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up, leave me a comment your favorite item, and I will see you in the next one.